What is good, YouTube? So we're back with another video. For the people that are wondering what happened to my intro from like my older videos on YouTube, I am basically redoing it because it had music over it. And I keep getting all these copyright things from YouTube saying, uh, I guess I'm using copyright on the video, even though I'm tagging the artist of the video or whatever. I don't know how it works, really. So I'm shying away from that. I'm making a whole new one. I got someone uh, that I am going to use in mind from Instagram, and it's going to be absolutely insane. So uh, I'm hyped to do that. But let's get into this video so I can tell you guys exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so I'm just going to get straight to it. This video is going to be on the Lun Ghost Cam tune. I'm going to tell you the good things about it and the bad things about it. I don't have too much to say about bad things about it, but some people do have some bad things, I guess, to say about it. Um, there really ain't no bad, personally, that I think. I mean, this has been a question that's been up in the air for like a year or two or so, or I guess since they came out with the Ghost Cam tune. Everyone thinks it's horrible for the motor or bad for the car, but I'm going to get into it and let you guys know exactly how I feel about it. So let's get into this video. All right, so I'm inside the car. I'm in the passenger seat right now, as you can tell. Um, first thing you're going to need in order to get this tune is this right here. So what this is right here is the Lund N-Gage. I believe this runs for about 700 bucks. Uh, I also believe they did stop making these, so these are actually pretty hard to find from what I know. I believe my cousin was looking to get one of these, but he actually wasn't able to find one for a decent price. Pretty sure you can find them on eBay and stuff like that, and there's probably websites that sell them. But uh, yeah, I had a problem with my cord, and it wasn't connecting with the OBD port, so I wasn't able to actually change the tune. They give you two different tunes. It's a performance tune and a Lund Ghost Cam tune. It's more like a novelty tune, so I'm pretty sure it's free with the uh, the performance tune that you buy. But I run the Ghost Cam tune almost all the time. It's uh, pretty dope at shows. It grabs a lot of people's attention and stuff like that. But like I said, the cords, they stopped making these cords also with this. So it is pretty hard to get these cords. So I purchased two cords when I got this because I don't want to run into a problem where I can't find the cord and I can't change the tune now. And it's just a whole mess. So I suggest if you're going to get the ghost cam tune and you want just a ghost cam tune to get the end gauge. And then if you can find tons of cords to get, get a bunch, get like two or three. I don't think they're that much. I think they're like 50 bucks. I want to say it might be cheaper than that. They might be like 30 bucks, but uh, I would just get a stockpile of cords because Without this cord, you cannot change the tune at all. And that would really suck if you get the piece and the cord breaks and now you want to change the tune and you need it changed because you don't like it or something like that and you can't change it. So that's just a tip I would give you guys. Uh, go out, get that, and get that settled in. Okay, so I'm not going to flash any tunes right now. I can kind of walk you guys through it and what you need to do. It's very easy. It's extremely easy. It's literally a plug and play. So what you do is you plug the tuner in after you have the tune downloaded on here. I'm going to have to make a whole nother video for that, how to get the tune onto here. It's, uh, it's a little complicated, but it's pretty simple. It just goes from the computer to this with a chip, and uh, that's basically it. But what you do once the tune is on there is you plug it into the OBD port over there, and a bunch of things are going to pop up. And it's gonna, you're just going to have to click check or X on it. So it's going to X if you want to flash it. Uh, you get to choose between whatever tunes you have on here. It lets you choose. You click on it. You flash it. It takes literally three minutes. That's it. Three minutes to flash a tune. You can see the bar. It shows like a little loading bar. And once it reaches the end, it says uh, turn off the car for 10 seconds and then restart it. Once you restart it and it starts going again, you'll hear it start making a noise getting louder 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 and then you'll just hear it uh sounding like it's camped so uh it's pretty cool how you could just flash it within three minutes so you can change the whole sound of the car within three minutes and if you're running the exhaust setup i'm running your car is going to be extremely loud so if your neighbors don't like loud cars and you live in like a really residential neighborhood kind of like mine uh your neighbors aren't going to like it. I'll be honest with you. Unless they're super chill, 
Like mine, I got pretty chill neighbors. It's just around my neighborhood that don't really like it too much. But uh, I don't start it as much as I used to. Um, but yeah, just that's like a disclaimer. It's going to be extremely loud. Uh, so if you got no problem with that, you're good. But if you do, uh, I don't really know what to tell you. So enough with the talking. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it sounds like. And then we'll get into the, uh, the bad things about it and the good things about it. Um, like I said earlier, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. But uh, let me pull this car out right now so you guys can hear what this thing sounds like with the ghost can. All right, so actually, I don't even really need to pull it out because the exhaust is facing that way. I just wasn't trying to die inside my garage. But uh, let's go to the back so you guys can hear what this thing sounds like. My phone overheated. I'm gonna have to redo it again. Like I said, it's hot as hell in Arizona, so phone's gonna overheat. That's what it sounds like from down here on the driveway. You can hear me a little bit better. All right, I'm back in the car. Um, one thing about the tune is, if you mess with the AC, it does change the volume of the tune. So right now I had no AC on at all. I'm gonna turn it on so you can hear exactly what it sounds like, but you could hear it literally change. That's on max AC. So let's check it out. It's gonna sound a little bit different. It chops like much slower, I guess. I don't know. Hard to say. Enough with all the noise and all the loudness. Let's get into the reliability of it. So from what I know and my statistics with this exact car, which is a 2017 Mustang GT Premium. Pretty sure it's a PP2 package, actually. Um, This exact car, I can tell you I've had zero issues with it. I got the car with... 17,000 miles, I think. I bought the car used four years ago, I'd say. And I've been running this Ghost Cam tune two months after I bought it. So it had about the same mileage as I bought it with. And I've been running it for about 50,000 miles or so with the Ghost Cam tune. I'm at, what am I at? 79,000 now? 78,000? So yeah, I've been running for around there. And I've had no issues with it at all no issues with this car in general and i mean it i mean completely zero when i say zero i mean zero and you see my videos you see what i'd be doing with the car i'd be hitting the two-step i'd be doing the flame kit i'd be uh doing some donuts drifting i womp on the car i go hard on it so uh as you guys can tell i've been running the ghost tune in every video and it's had no issues. So you guys take what you want with that info. I'm not telling you guys it's horrible for the car. I'm not telling you it's good for the car. I'm just telling you exactly what I've gotten with the Ghost Cam Tune. And this is exactly how the car's been. So I'm going to be more happier with this car and how it's been. Um, Like I said, you guys do what you want with the info. But I'm pretty sure I proved that the tune isn't bad for the car. But like I said, that's that's on you guys. You pick what you want with the info. But uh, I suggest if you want it, go and get it. I wouldn't be worried about anything when getting it. Oh, there's some glare right here. There's not a stand right there. But um, yeah, no problems. But the one thing I will say is once you get the tune, you're going to have to get very used to it. 
There is some stuttering with it in the beginning, coming out of gear or any gear. If you have a six-speed manual, whatever, even the autos. I don't know how it works with the autos too much. But I know my car, coming out of gear, you were going to have to learn it. You were going to have to get used to it because, actually, I don't think with the tune you could actually stall the car. That's the crazy part. You can't stall the car with the tune. It will just keep jumping and leaping and jumping and jumping and jumping and stuttering. But it will never stall. The weird part is if you're in reverse and you're backing it up, sometimes it hasn't happened to me in years. Like since I first got it, it did it. But sometimes it will stall out by itself going in reverse. That's about it. Like I said, hasn't happened to me in years. I daily the car, drive it all the time and it hasn't happened. So that's nothing to worry about. Maybe the car just needs to learn to tune a little bit so it doesn't do that. But uh, that's the only thing you gotta get used to. That's the only bad I really see in it. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think what else it really does. I mean, that's really it. You smell a lot of gas fumes. You smell that, definitely. I was able to tell the difference with that right off the rip. I mean, I'm also catless, so that doesn't help also. But uh, that's another thing. Uh, the car kind of shakes when you're just sitting there. So if you're just sitting at a light, you got the tune on, the car is going to shake a little bit. It pretty much gives you the same effect of a real cam. Like if you actually get cams in these things, I don't know how they would act, but I'm pretty sure they're like that. So uh, it gives it that heavy chopping sound. And uh, I like it a lot. But off that topic, I'm trying to move around a little bit so you guys aren't really bored just looking at one screen. Uh, but as you can see, the car's in my garage right now. I'm not going to take it out tonight. But uh, I'm trying to move around so you guys can see the whole car, see what I have done to it. But um, the good on a tune, I mean, the good is it sounds insane. It's nice for shows. It's nice for just driving around, pulling up at lights. I mean, everyone's always like, damn, that thing sounds insane, man. What's the setup? So if you want it to sound as loud as possible, and I'm pretty sure this is the loudest setup you can get on an S550. I'm pretty confident in it. All you gotta do is get Corsa Extreme, the full system. Uh, I believe it comes with the X-Pipe on it already. Then get Corsa Catless headers. So that's the hardest part. part is finding those headers. Corsa Catalyst headers are extremely hard to find. They stopped selling them, and I'm pretty sure headers in general, Catalyst, are super hard to find also because they stopped selling those too. So, I'm pretty sure there's a couple websites, but if you know a guy, they can just cut it out, put a pipe in, and uh, there you are, your Catalyst. But if you want it to sound exactly like this, you gotta get this exact setup. And I think this is the nicest sounding setup, the most vicious sounding. It does have a little rasp to it uh, compared to the Borla Attack, because that's the other setup I'd say is probably the loudest. But uh, I went with this one and I'm very happy I did. I like it a lot. Man, I am so sorry, guys. My phone literally keeps stopping and turning off because of the heat. It's so hot out here in Arizona. As you guys could tell, I record everything with my phone. I really need to get a camera or something and start doing it on there. I do the driving videos on my phone, one hand shift in, all that nonsense. Do not do that, it's not safe at all. But uh, just so you guys know, I'm on an iPhone. So, back into it. I was talking about the exhaust in the back. Only other exhaust that sounds relatively close or as loud is the boiler attack. Yes, you need headers. Yes, I would go with the X-Pipe. And yes, of course, with the ghost cam tune, which sounds exactly like you just seen earlier in the video. So in all, to wrap this video up, the full review on the ghost cam tune, I say yes. I like it. Car runs great for me. Only downside to it, like I said, is the stuttering. If you can master that, then you're perfectly fine. So... Go get the tune, hit up Lund. Like I said, novelty tune. So if you get a regular tune through them, the tune is 700. The tune itself, I believe is like 400. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it's 400 depending on what you get. And the ghost cam tune is either another 100 bucks or you just get it with the tune. But email them, see what they say. 
first thing you need to do is get that end gauge so find the end gauge find it on ebay find it on marketplace or something get that and get the tune hit me up on dm send me your videos of all your tunes my instagram is mike underscore underscore mazer so m-a-s-e-r hit me up on instagram and send me your tunes if you have seen this video i want to see exactly what yours sounds like i don't see many people with this identical exact setup with exhaust with the tune so uh i'd love to see it and love to hear what your guys sounds like so i'm gonna wrap this video up and thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and let's go